Okay, so we're playing this like in Rage Warrior list. Now, this is actually uh, prompted by me by one of my viewers. Uh, what was his name? Is O-Lam? O.Lam? So if you're watching this, you know, this is, this is your your list here that you uh, submitted here. Or left in the comments where everyone can see it. Um, and hopefully we can do well with it. Uh, Warrior has not been doing too hot since all the nerfs to it. Or, well, specifically to uh, Odin. But we'll see how this feels. I'm not really sure what we should keep. This is against Paladin. We might actually want to keep the Embers of Strength of like pure Paladin, just to, like slow them down a bit. Team Guardian's not terrible either. Gorbler is really nice to have early on too, so we can control the board. But really, I think what we want to try and do is, you know, it is pure Paladin. We might lose out to this, honestly. Extractor is really nice to see. Um, so here's the thing that I'm thinking, we could play this and then play this on three and then trade around and buff stuff up. So I think I'm gonna go for that play. It's either that or we just armored up there and then we play this next turn on turn three, but it can vary. Pure Paladin, they can either have like the most broken hand possible or they just don't have anything. So just praying that they don't have anything basically. Which I mean they had something, but... I actually think I'll wait. I'll play this team guy in here, see what we get. Nether Embers. We'll poke into the Divine Shield. We might double trade here, which isn't the end of the world, but... Need a bit more spice over here. The light Another Shoe Chef. The light Man, this guy opened up pretty solid. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we're just gonna play this. Unfortunate how this is, but we'll do that. At least doesn't have the weapon and you know getting insane like amounts of uh stats off of that and we do have trial by fire and olgra here so if he goes really wide we can probably deal with the board pretty decently um at least semi-decently you know if he doesn't trade here we actually could probably play this and this we might be doing fine okay that's not bad at all actually we'll, do that. we'll draw okay Play, we'll trade there, so next turn we have this to uh, turn it back on. Okay, nice, nice. Got some dudes now too, so you know we're getting a board developed here. Okay, resistance aura is a little annoying actually. But this actually just trades in everything here, and we actually get able to clear up the board. Um, he might actually just invest everything into trading and all this. Oh, he's playing a lot. Does he have like a light ray or something? I'm assuming he does. Okay, so I think I might trade here first and see where the buff lands and then we'll play the Olgra. This is tough one more. Yeah, that's fine. This will trade in everything, so we'll be doing fine. And we're also getting buffs for all of it too, so. Yeah, just buff all that up. Buff it all up. Pretty solid. This is also 10. Crazy. Oh, is he gonna double trade? He should have traded there first. I don't know why he. We got an extra stats off of that. Hmm. Say that is pretty interesting. I mean, we could attack the weapon. I don't think he has lethal, but he probably does. If these three cards here are enough, that, uh, are the um, the buff ones, that might just be. No, that might that might just be game. Remember this day, for you are graced with my presence. Okay, the countess actually saves me. Cause I could play this, trade, go face. 11, 12. Mm, not really. Go one. Two. A bunch of three threes would trade there. I guess we could have attacked, but it wouldn't have mattered, I guess. We'll do that. I know nothing's gonna get buffed up with the weapon, but I'm just trying to set up for this. He might trade there first, or he might make the mistake and trade there or there. And let's get buffed up. Or he just gets insane and get like triple crush or something like that, which But 
we'll see what happens. Either way, we might just have lethal with this. And if we can get top deck like Sanguine Depths into this plus that, that's lethal as well. So, so far the deck's not doing terrible. Oh gosh, she got crushed in me. Oh my god, but those are all busts happening. He, he does realize that this is here, right? Hey, I'm okay with him doing that. That means, you know, we're going to be getting some insane stats on this. Like, more likely they're not going to be getting lethal. Okay, attacks. Lame, but it's fine. Oh yeah, those are also going to be buffed as well, so... Yeah, 5-5. Five, five. Oh, he trades. That is lethal. Game well played. Well done. <laughs> Your blood for the sire. Into ribbons. The victory is yeah, he concedes. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he didn't get terrible stuff off of it. Magni versus Nemzi. Hey, so we're going to get some Warlock. Now there's a possibility I could win this. I'm not really sure. Grumpy Monk, is this a... No, it's not a bot. Okay. Um, Maybe we do want to keep these together. Let's do a hand like that, maybe. Can't be too terrible. I think it's not bad. I guess we'll see if this will be okay play on turn one. I might wait until I get like a Sanguine Depth so we could like combo off with that and that, but it might not be good enough to wait. We might just need to play it and hope that he uh, doesn't do anything else with it. Okay, tap from him. I might just coin this out. Oh, I couldn't get a jam session. That's fine. I would like the jam session that, but it's all good. Forge of Wills is scary. I'm gonna play the Acolyte there. There's a chance, you know, we could draw a couple cards off that and it might help us, you know. Fix this hand, it's a bit cluttered, there's not a lot happening with it. I mean, we do have some reactions with these two stuff here. Uh, with the two spells here and re reboring this, um, making this come back to life, but like... It's not gonna be enough. Yeah, he has a 7-7 seven seven with it. It's a little unfortunate. Only trades into that, that's fine. Well, sure. There's a jam session. Uh, does that help though? Not really. I'll do that there. Do one and it's still a double trade there and doesn't feel that great. The other option is playing this and just double trading there and then follow up with like something with these. Hmm, excuse me. But I think I'll, I will make that play. Now this is infused. And then we could like make some type of like jam session play happen with our imbued uh, axe. Scourge Supply, so that means this is a Thaddeus Warlock, which is kind of annoying. Let's just do it there. Allows us to draw. I guess there was really no point in doing that, but we had to play this first to summon this back up. It feels bad making that trade since you know we can just file this or whatever he wants to do with it, but honestly that was not that great of a play. Played Drain Soul last. Oh, Spirit Supplies actually might not be that bad of a spell.
Okay, yeah, eradic eradication's fine. Okay, eradication, that's actually a little annoying here. But we can make this play happen with this and this. We can be patient with that. Oh, by fire, not terrible. The classic five is gonna be great. Ooh, got the black pearl. The I can't the, or, um, Sargeras off this would be a little hard to get over, but I think we can make it happen. Of course he gets it, oh my goodness. I guess we'll see what happens. Whoa, he's Sir Finling stuff back in. So that means he doesn't have Sargeras in his hand anymore. This is a bit of weird play. That was an okay play to do with the way I was trading there, but I might be wrong. Okay, flesh beam is fine. I don't mind that. If the status that'd be a little bit worse. But if he has a shallow grade, then that actually might be terrible. We might have to concede after that. I guess actually next round I might want to play this so I get the mortal, um, what is it, eradication off. It could potentially do some stuff, put in some work. Okay, there's the Olgra. Okay, I think we are going to play this now. Magic betrays those who Not the best play here, but like, if they could kill these two things, that'd be nice. Okay, I killed one. It's not bad. I think I'm just going to set for that and tap. Not the best thing. I guess we could have also traded there, but I want to save the durabilities for a potential like big swing with like these here or something. It might just be too greedy. Hmm, that's bad. Is this gonna be Thaddeus? <laughs> He's able to copy it. We just lose. Oh no. Is, he, is it reduced enough that he can play it? For even costs. Costs four less. So he has six. Oh, does he get that with that? Hey, why didn't he just play it? He'd make everything cheaper there. Yeah, we just lose. There's really nothing else that we could do. That's unfortunate. Even Olga doesn't do much here. <sighs> yeah, we have to concede there. I don't think there's anything else that we could have done. Maybe we could have been a bit more aggressive earlier in the game, but... No. Okay, well, Hunter's probably a winnable matchup, depending on whichever list he's playing. Oh, Sun Fury Champion. We have not seen this card yet. I'm just going to keep these two here. Probably not the right thing to keep, but... I, I want, ooh, Trial by Fire, Thor Below. Stuff the Thor Belor, however you pronounce it. These will be good with, for control stuff. Okay, well, we definitely have to poke that off. Because we can't let, let that get out of hand and get all the secrets, and the next thing you know, we're dying to a weapon. Oh, okay. First time getting battle, battle worn faceless. Cool. The living grab all kinds of things. Okay, drink attractors. Fine. I think we're gonna have to save the coin for this. Burn away the blight. Make that play. 
There might be a reason like double thing when you did this, draw, and you know, something crazy like that. If we like if we top deck our um extractor, I might actually do that play. And I'll be able to draw a bunch. That's fine. Oh, original shot's really good for him. Yeah, so I was gonna trade here and then do that play. Okay, plays the one, that's fine. Go ahead and draw. Look the there. Fire. We're gonna wait until this is active. We don't need to do, we don't need to ping it yet. Or trigger it, or use the, the location. Okay, the Gromonger. It's fine, it's fine. I was able to like deal with these pretty easily. Like that's the problem with like hunters, that sometimes these get out of hand and you can't really do much about them. Okay, I'm okay making that trade, doing that. Okay, and that's infused. Now we can do this and like I don't know, does this so if your minion can attack and you copy it? Is it allowed to attack too? I'm not sure. Or if that's only if it's a charge minion. We have to like save it for the crazed welch is basically what this is i'm not really sure i guess we could try it because i have not i haven't actually watched any like other youtube video youtubers play this deck and i actually don't know the whole entire interaction with what happens with this so i guess we'll see mm, ever song okay dude okay dude oh jam session is a card Oh, we can transfer to a copy of one. Okay. See, we just have too much of a board at that point. There's really no point in playing this. We might do this. Let's swarm you up. Oh, that's ready. Go ahead and jam session. It at least removes two things here. Look there. See that. I'll resum back. Okay, right there. It's fine. If he has a star power, we just kind of cry, but I guess we'll have to see. Maybe copy into a damaged. So we could actually copy this a bunch and have three of these. That's actually kind of cool, right? Maybe that's kind of the reason why this deck is like semi-good. Because you're able to copy Torbalors, and then you're able to just, every time you play a fire spell, you just get three of those things, and they just stick around forever. That might be the play. I'll have to see. I'm not even sure if that if that's how it works at all, so I guess we'll see. Yeah, you did have the star power, unfortunately. Okay. I'm gonna poke there, play this. We don't really need to play this at all. Let's just do this. Ah, call it a day. This might be the turn that we do play the trial by fire here. Oh, it might be explosive. I guess we haven't had anything attack for face yet, right? Let's see what is it after your hero's attack deal two damage. Okay, we're just gonna do this and see if it's explosive trap or what it is. Okay, wandering monster, that's fine. Oh, okay, that, that's fine though. So one, two, three. We're gonna tap. All good. And if he deals any damage here. I mean, if he has star power, it is what it is, I guess, but there's still the, the opportunity to be, like, make some crazy, uh, battle-worn faceless plays. arrow of four cards okay dude I, I don't like that I don't like that at all okay another conjured arrow man this guy just drew so much okay steam guardian light of the phoenix please 
Damn, session's kind of interesting. True strength rises from the ashes. We go one, two. That's fine. Yeah. I'm curious how this works. Okay, so it is just an extra copy. That's cool. We're gonna do that. Do that. Go boop boop. All good. And if we top deck a, a fire spell, we have two of these guys. And then we have another one of these to copy that. I'm not sure. Maybe it would've been better to copy that. Maybe it would be able to attack. You got it? Oh. It's fine. He's gonna have to have everything attack itself. Which isn't the end of the world. Does everything even die to that? I think one thing now. Nothing stays alive then. Oh, one thing does stay alive. Oh, that's actually great. Does he have an answer for it? This game is rigged. Okay, dude. Oh, wait. Transform into a copy. Yes, please. Give me that guy. Okay, we're gonna do it. Give me a piece of this. Kill him. Okay, that's actually worse. Kill him. Yes. Okay. Kill him. I mean, that's not terrible. I'm gonna point and tap. He might have lethal. But that play was kind of cool. The the battle war and faithless copying the the og that's that's pretty big. Oh, don't tell me you lose. No. What else could we have? It's so dumb, man. That's unfortunate. The game is close. 